Hello everyone, this is Kanfer here. Today we will testing Pavel's spectrum analyzer. This is my favorite spectrum analyzer software using under Windows 10. Uh, Pavel's spectrum analyzer you can use it for uh, with the RTL SDR. So let's uh, launch, let's fire it up. When you open it, it's still you to choose the your SDR dungeon hooking to your PC so let's choose the generic RTL okay uh, I will present uh, right now this uh, Pravis Spectrum is amazing Spectrum software the biggest ad advantage is, uh, is that it can do sweeps across a large frequency span and has a relative mode feature as you can see like uh, here right now uh, it's starting from 24 to 1 uh, gigahertz and 800 megahertz the full uh, range of the my uh, dongle uh, so what uh, relative mode does uh, for you uh, relative mode here from here uh, if you use uh, if you have a noise source or noise spikes it's basically like a zero uh, in altimeter so you can um, adjust it to in relative mode to to like you got a, a, a zero in your altimeter so connect your noise source then set uh, your uh, desired frequency range then uh, click uh, relative mode let it run for at least a few loops and then you click uh, set relative that uh, then uh, give it to you a very straight line z with 0 dB and uh, you will see the noise spikes is disappearing okay so uh, this is spectrum uh, project by uh, Pavels is a 5 years old project but updated last 6 months and uh, still uh, my favorite spectrum and easy to use and move and tune with mouse so let's uh, we will uh, discover all all uh, the buttons here in this spectrum okay it's uh, easy to use just uh, to work uh, parameters like frequency range and scale tuning gain or offset tuning to to what you needs and the uh, base display is uh, average for each point and turn maximum and the minimum and uh, and also uh, see minimum and uh, maximum for every display point so it has uh, many features it has uh, many features like uh, user interface with tabs I will uh, see you right now from uh, uh, the github problems uh, page as you can see here this picture it, it has a user interface with tabs this is a uh, tabs and uh, you have uh, this here uh, area line options as you can see here you put the area lines options and you can uh, use a mouse wheel to zoom in the middle of the graph as you can see here and you can use a mouse wheel close to the graph edge and adjust limits as you can see here and here you, you, you can see the zoom area and measurements with the uh, cruisers as you can see here this area defronted by left mouse uh, and the drag will be zoomed in the right double click in the zoom button is pressed and uh, you can see here the zoom area and the measurement with the cruise and the zoom in area as you can see here and the drag graph with middle mouse button and uh, you can uh, see an uh, area of interested uh, centered and you can you can uh, save the reference and save the display as you can see here and you can put the, the average maximum here in the back of the spikes and you can put the minimum and the maximum too and you can put the maximum hold here for a VHF scanning and you can see an up down converter here configuration and you can see here the reference uh, save display 
and you can see here uh, uh, a crop off and a crop on you see the difference between crop off and crop on here okay now let's see here let's play here with the with this software uh, let's try to put here let's minimize it to the the, the scope let's put like to uh, FM range a uh, broadcast FM frequencies so let's put 88 to uh, 2108 megahertz Okay, let's put 88 as you can see here now here when you put when you put your uh, mouse here in the left side and use your uh, your wheel your mouse wheel as you can see here you can increase the start frequency like to 23 megahertz, 24 megahertz, 25 megahertz, 22, 21 megahertz. And here, when you put the, the mouse in the maximum area in this uh, frequency, and with the, when the mouse wheel up and down, you can adjust the maximum and the minimum. Okay, let's, let's try to make it more closer. Let's make it more closer here as you can see when you make it more closer it will be a, a, a real time so you can the sweep here as you can see the sweep here it's it's too it's too fast we can you you can um, you can minimize it and uh, maximize it uh, speed as what you like you can make it uh, view here in this uh, spectrum or not the view and when you put the mouse wheel here you can adjust the db down here the low of the the db as you can see here and you can put the mouse you can click by mouse here in the left corner and you can in the right here in the right click you can measure the shifting of from specific frequency to the main frequency as you can see here is minus 1.758 kilohertz and the right is at 1 and you can measure the db and you can measure the vswr you can make it uh, like uh, line dots here you can filled filled here the the spikes with this color you can you can do offset tuning and you can put the minimum and the maximum and you can fill with the minimum and the maximum here okay let's let's uh, let's going to this uh, measure vertical scale rf gain you can put it increase it like 24.8 and 33 as you can see here okay okay from here you can do a freeze you can make a video average on and off and you can make the maximum and the minimum uh, hold and the minimum and the medium hold as you can see so let's try to to make it the wrist reset The end of the frequency and the start of the frequency as you can see here as you can see okay let's try to going to to like 410 megahertz to huge if you can zoom in and zoom out you can do many many things here 
as you can see the measurement is the relative mode you can set relative when you have a noise as you can see here the minimum here down it's uh, but I don't have right now a source noise source it's just to try to to sit for testing I will cancel the relative right now okay so uh, you can try this spectrum you can try the spectrum this is amazing spectrum and uh, the last update uh, before six months and it look like is uh, is good and easy to use uh, friendly with your mouse okay my friends don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, stay tuned for another uh, demonstration video okay for that 73 bye bye